95 TCCs. TCCs? TCCs? 95 Ideas for Reform of the Catholic Church by Martin Luther. One, more comfortable seats in the church. Cushions. Two, vine. Larger portions. Three. Three. Hmm. Three. Think, 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 Martin, think. Talk to me, Goose. Ah. <laughs> Goose. Oh, Goose. Are you there? is this? It is I, Martin Luther. Your friend, Martin. Sorry, I am in middle of something very important. Who's on what are you working? I am trying to reform Catholic Church. Excellent. This is exact. This is exactly why. Why I am writing. Ugh. I will call. Tare who's? Jan who's? Who is this? It's Martin. Oh. Hello, Martin. Hansa, you old goose. It's your day. Why are you working? You should be at the cottage. Is this not what the crazy Czechs do on the day of Jan who's? Martin. I have very little time for celebration. I have just completed my magnum opus and I will submit it to the Ministry of Brilliant Ideas first thing on Monday morning. I am sure that you are aware that we Czechs have a history of other people taking credit for our brilliant ideas. Who do you think invented this phone? Hus, don't waste the energy at the ministry. They will not even stamp that thing for at least three months. Your ideas are too important to sit in some government office. I need to... You, you need to get them out into the world. Ah, I have the plan. Why don't you tell me the reforms and I will publicize them for you. It is not necessary, Martin. I have a plan. I will distribute these flyers in Old Town Square. By the end of this summer, I should have at least five ready to go. Or you could make the print on the Gutenberg Press. Bam, bam, 1,000 copies. Gutenberg, soje? Uh, never mind. Tell me, what is the year in the Prague? Year of our Lord, 1415. Ah, the good old Middle Ages. Hardly a complication in the world. Eat, sleep, work, shit, and then do everything again the next day. The simple life was good. Martin, times in Bohemia are quite difficult. Peasants cannot afford dumplings, and now the church wants them to pay money to go to heaven. Things cannot be any worse when you are. When are you? The year is 1515. 
fifteen hundreds. Imagine that. Do you ride around in flying horse carriages all day? Well, you know that the Catholic Church kind of runs things around here, and they are not so much into the progress. Wait, did you say that the people must pay the church to make the place into heaven? Yes, church makes the people buy indulgences to wash them clean of their sins. We Czechs are accustomed to paying a bribe or two to get things done, but now every Czech man must give money to the church and his mistress? <laughs> this is main point of complaint in my sermon. Indulgences. What is this clicking noise? Uh, it's a movable, movable type machine. Never mind. Hus, what other reforms did you make focus on in your work? It's not just what I preach, Martin, but how I preach. I have been performing mass here in a small chapel in Prague in Czech language. But no one understands the Czech language. We understand Czech language. Yes, but this is extremely difficult language. Yes, but it's our language. Czech is way more complicated than Latin. It's actually quite simple if you take the time to learn it. Do you really need seven cases? And that godforsaken air with the hook? But I invented R with hook. It really ties the syntax together. No one except the Czechs will understand the math. Martin, this is the point. Czechs understand Czech. Oh, ich verstehe. So the congregants will understand what you are speaking about instead of listening to this jibber jabber in Latin. Half the time, I just make up the words. Latin is the dead language. This I always say. Mass in Czech language. Martin, no one will understand Czech. This is what I am saying. No. Martin. No one in your church would understand Mass in Czech. You would say Mass in German. This is good idea. Mass in German. Hus, these ideas are very, very good. Now we need only 85, perhaps 90 more. No, Martin, it will have to wait. Oh. It's quarter shadow past six. I have to run. Oh, I forgot to tell you. The church authorities have invited me, Jan Hus, to explain my ideas about reform to their Holy Roller Conference in Constance. They are hosting a bonfire in my honor. A bonfire. Or barbecue bonfire. They mentioned they would be grilling. In your honor. In my honor. On the day of Jan Hus? Uh, I suppose that is coincidence. Anyway, Martin, I really must go. Hus, please wait one minute. This is important. What other reforms did you write? Oh, I've got one. The priest should be allowed to marry the nuns. Marry nuns? Are you insane? Why not just marry your goat? No, only the handsome nuns, not the ones with the face. Goodbye, Martin. Keep faithful. Hoof. Do not take the writings with you to the bonfire. You must send them to me. Wait, I will call Carrier Pigeon. I have the app. It will be there in 72 hours maximum. You must leave these brilliant ideas in the hands of someone you can trust. Five. Permission to marry the nuns. This work will change the world.